What's up guys? I'm going to do a quick video on uh, my Panhard bar with chassis mounted servo. Um, I've been seeing some stuff online. I've actually watched a few videos on YouTube just now that people are having problems with bump steer um, out of this because uh, when they hit a bump it wants to move the wheels left or right and I'm, I'm going to tell you why. If you see right here is the chassis mounted servo plate it just sandwiches in between the frame rails on both sides you take out this front bracket for the bumper and you slide this plate on with your servo mounted on it I don't know if you can see it but I've got a Traxxas servo there it's a uh, 2075 and when you put that on it comes with this little triangulated bar right here right let me get that shadow out of the way right here that goes down to this that bolts on the top of your axle now what this kit comes with it comes with this piece this little triangulated piece under here that goes to the back of the of the um, of the chassis mounted servo plate now the problem I'm seeing is the steering arm that comes with it is short so people mount it over here I don't have the one that come with this one because I didn't use it but it's short and it comes over here to what would be the driver side effectively and what's happening since this is anchored over here over here the geometry is off because when they pull up on this it wants to move the tire out because of the bump steer in it what you have to do I got this one I'm gonna show you what I got here this one is a, a GPM part GPM 330B it was blue, but I didn't like the blue because uh, it just didn't look right. And I ordered it in blue. The only reason I ordered it in blue is because blue was the only one that had free two-day shipping. So I got blue, and then I just sanded it down and painted it black. But what you have to do is you have to triangulate your steering from your steering servo the same angle as the Panhard bar. So if you see right here, I can hold this. I can hold the camera right here and you, it's hard to see the panhard bar behind the steering arm because it's triangulated in the same angle as this. I was having the exact same problem with bump steer or you steer and all it wants to do is just lift the body up off of the axle and the way to remedy that is I was ready to take this thing off and just throw it in the garbage and be done with it but I had already cut my servo mounts off the axle you, you, you can see they're not on there. I shaved I cut them off and then ground them off of the Dremel. And then I was at work one night and it hit me. You have to triangulate this in the same way that this is triangulated. So if you want it to go, well, there's only one way to mount it because the way this piece is made, you can't mount it on the back of the axle. It has to mount on the front and you can only try it. It only triangulates over here to this side to the, what would be the passenger side. I'm sorry. I keep getting my hand in front of the camera, but, so what you have to do, like I said, I got this. This is a this is a tie rod off of a Mini Revo or something. I don't remember. I think it may be off a Mini Revo, and I put it on there and went straight to this side. Swapped the long bolt from over here to over here, and I done away with the arm that come with the kit. And um, I use this one. And I have no problems at all now. You can see it flexes with no bumps here, and the geometry is bang on. So that's what you have to do in order to keep from having bump steer with these chassis mounted servos. Uh, any of these, the uh, I can't remember the other brands, but mine is a GPM Racing. Um, as you see right here, it come with warranty card and all that BS. But um, I got this one off of uh, Amazon. I got it for 18 or 19 bucks but i think it really adds some scale realism because it gets rid of the servo that's in here and gets it up up behind the body where you can't see it but if any of you guys are running these uh these gpm or any of any of the brand panhard bars like this or painted bars whatever they're called i think we call them painted bars in the south but don't quote me on that so but yeah like i said it comes with this piece that sandwiches between the frame rails this triangulated piece it comes with some spacers here a little metal collar or not a collar but a, um, a spacer right there it comes with all the hardware you need and it comes with a short arm 
Now, you'll be encouraged to mount it on this side, of course, because that's what it reaches, but don't. Get something, a longer one, make one, buy one. I'm sure Traxxas, uh, I don't have... I don't have a tape measure handy or I would give you a measurement on this. Uh, I'll try to put it in the description below as to what it is and how long it is. And I will try to let you guys know everything I can about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, hit me up in the comment section down below. Um, give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. Any uh, Anytime someone subscribes, that really helps me out and gives me a chance to become bigger and you know the routine but uh yep and i took off my factory aluminum um connecting arm whatever in the hell you call it the the steering linkage and i sanded it down and painted it black i i don't like all the axial logos slathered all over the truck so i'm trying to do away with them slowly so yeah um if you've if you have any question, this has the three link suspension on front, so you have a tendency to get some some side to side movement. It's not very much, and it's honestly it doesn't really affect anything. But I I I put the panhard bar on there for for scale realism to make it look more realistic. Get the get the servo up out of the way where you couldn't see it, and I think it looks great. And now that I figured out how it works, it works excellent too. So. If you guys are having trouble with your with your panhard bar having bump steer, um, swap your steering arm from here, from the servo, from this way, over like this, and you'll get a lot more success out of it. So subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, and let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.